It's Amy. Today we are out here at Parkside, which is a Meritage Homes community here in the Dr. Phillips area of Orlando. We have a great location here, centrally located to everything, all the entertainment and amusements that you want. Today we're touring the Granada Inventory Home, but before we begin the tour of this gorgeous home, I want to start with something that I typically end my videos with. Um, I wanted to remind you that if you go to my website, heartandhomeorlando.com, if you look in the upper right hand corner, there's a little thing that says wish list. If you click on wish list, it's going to take you to a really quick and simple form for you to fill out, just telling me some basic things that you're interested in in your new home search here in the Florida area. And then for free, because using me as your buyer agent is always free to you, I will send you some links to some of our video tours, floor plans, and or communities that I think best meet your needs. At this point, we have over 100 videos, and so really trying to fine tune the ones that work for you might be a little bit overwhelming to you, and I don't want you to get overwhelmed because that's why I'm here. I'm here to help make this whole process easier for you. So click on wish list, send me that form as soon as this video is done, and then I will send you some links to some other videos. And then that way, as you're out and you're having fun looking at the video tours, you know that I'm gonna have a custom list sent to you in just a day or two. Okay, so let's continue on. So this is the Granada floor plan. Now this inventory home um, has a few different tweaks to it than the actual model home tour that we do. So if you didn't already find it, we actually have the model home of this where it's completely decorated and furnished, which is outstanding. But this is the same floor plan with a few little tweaks, which is really nice that you're able to adapt the floor plans. This particular home has 5,500 square feet. It has eight bedrooms, I said eight, and six and a half bathrooms. Eight bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, 5,500 square feet, and it is an absolutely gorgeous home. So you come in through the front door and immediately over here to your left, you have your dining room. Remember, this is an inventory home, so what we are looking at could be your home. If you are looking for a home because you have a lot of kids and you come to Florida all the time and you wanna bring your extended family, you vacation here, you're gonna use this as a second home or a summer home, welcome, maybe this is your home. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So take a look at the paint, at the floor, at the fixtures, because this could be your home. This is great rectangular tiles, and these are um, creams, very light grays with different flecks, different hues of the grays in it. You have the very light gray paint on the wall, so it gives you a very, very neutral palette. You come in through this foyer area, and one of the things that I love to point out are the little architectural features that I just think make things unique and um, just kind of sets your home apart from everyone else's. You have this nice little cutout here where you could put a little vase or some artwork. It's a nice little spot. All right, we come into this home. Take a minute and look at this staircase. Now what's up above us in that second story is incredible, but the way you get there is pretty fantastic too. You have your wooden floor, or wooden stairs, and you have your, um, your iron railing with your really dark stains, like an espresso color. It's really beautiful. So here is your family room. This is the hub of your downstairs. This is a really nice sized family room. From about corner to corner, you have all of this space. You have your cable, everything is able for this wall. You also have a floor outlet, which is really nice. When you have rooms that are this large, oftentimes you have a sofa or two or a sectional. You have an end table. You have something that you wanna maybe put a lamp. There you go, you have an outlet so that you don't have cords um, all across the floor. All right now, look at this kitchen. This is so bright, so beautiful, so airy. It is outstanding. All right, so here we have this really large, okay, look, I'm just gonna try to get, that's a pretty big island, right? I can barely get it, it's my wingspan. Awesome, so nice big island here, and you have, uh, it's, it's gray with little tiny flecks of white and dark gray in it, but it's a lighter gray. It coordinates beautifully with the floor, as well as the white cabinets with the brushed nickel pulls that this um, kitchen offers, as well as your hood, your range, your stainless appliances, really beautiful you have your double oven and you have, so you have your gourmet kitchen and you have just tons and tons and tons of counter space and cabinet space what a great home what a great kitchen all right this area back here behind me is the entrance from the garage so when you come in from your garage you have this great area of built-ins for you to hang backpacks or umbrellas or shoes 
or a grocery bag or two, shopping bag, whatever it is, you have this great little area here. As well as this drop zone over here to your left, which is a great place to put your keys, your, back, uh, your wallet, your purse, all of that stuff. You've got great cabinets here for whatever you need. Now behind us is a fantastic pantry. This is a really nice, oversized, beautiful pantry. And look at the shelving in here. That's definitely sturdy. Definitely hold all those canned goods that might start to pull on those wire shelving. Okay, so here we go. Um, breakfast nook right here. And again, take a look at the lighting fixtures up above, as well as the wall of windows over here, and the glass doors behind us that lead you to your extended cupboard lanai. We'll look at the outdoor space in just a minute. Okay, so back over here in this corner. Now remember, um, like I said, this is an eight bedroom home, so we're coming to our first bedroom. But right over here, I wanna point out, that is your pool bath. Okay, so you have your toilet right over here with your sink with your door that accesses your outdoor area. Back here is laundry room. So you have a laundry room here on the first floor. Fantastic. Now over here to my left to your right is the first bedroom and this bedroom has its own bathroom. So this bedroom doesn't necessarily have to use that bathroom, it's got its own bathroom, okay? So let's keep that in mind. Also big double door closets. So we've come into the home, we have our first of eight bedrooms. Checking them off, one, there's your first bedroom. Now the master bedroom in this home is also on the first floor. The master bedroom is big, it is beautiful, it is oversized, and it has one of my most favorite things, which is the adult hideaway, the adult retreat, and it's back over here. So this floor plan offers the master suite, this extra little hideaway. You know what? If you have a house this big and there's eight bedrooms, it's probably filled with a lot of people. Some of those people might be kids. Sometimes, let's be honest, you might need a little adult private time to escape all of the chaos. They're playing pool upstairs and watching movies and playing video games. Maybe you just want to come here and read a book or maybe you and your husband want to watch a movie or who knows, but this is a great little hideaway off of the master. Not only is it a great little private space, but it has the double doors out to the back area as well. So you can certainly go outside and enjoy some outdoor space. So here's the master bedroom itself with the tray ceiling, which is also beautiful. Great size room. You have plenty of wall space to situate your furniture. And then we go into the master bath. Again, everything in this home is a very neutral palette. When they do the inventory homes, the design team always picks design choices that keeps things neutral. So that when you come in with your family, if you really like a specific color, anything is gonna go with this palette. So again, you have grays, creams, whites, really beautiful. You have this big sunken tub right here, separate his and her vanities, gorgeous big window up above the tub. You have this really large glass door shower. You have your toilet with the privacy door and then you have your master closet. And look at the closet. This is called California closet. These are beautiful. They're sturdy and they are substantial. And not every builder uses them. This is their higher end floor plan, so they have a little bit higher end with that shelving. Okay, so I think we got all of the first floor. Remember, this home is 5,500 square feet and it's eight bedrooms and six and a half baths. So we're gonna head upstairs because there's a lot going on upstairs and that's where the fun begins. I'll meet you upstairs. Okay, so now we're upstairs of this inventory home. Again, this is the Granada floor plan with Meritage Homes and we are in Parkside. So this is the second floor. This home, remember inventory home, quick move in. So the home that we're touring right now is currently available. May not be available tomorrow, but as of right now, it is available. This home is a quick move in, it's ready for you now. Now this upstairs, if you are looking for a home that has a ton of bedrooms and a ton of space, this is it. This is 5,500 square feet. We are now on the second floor. We have two bedrooms that we saw downstairs. We had a bedroom with its own full bath and we have the master bedroom as well. Now, if you're counting, eight minus two is six. So we still have more bedrooms upstairs. We've come up this gorgeous staircase and directly over here to the right of the staircase is the first bedroom and it has its own bathroom. That's one of the things about this house that I really, really love so much is that almost every bedroom has its own full bath. There are only two bedrooms that don't have their own bath and they share a nice big size with double vanity. So really this is fantastic. Out of eight bedrooms, six of them have their own bath. Now this is one of my favorite things and this is the upstairs wet bar area. You cannot have a game room in a flex space that is this magnificent and this large, this amount of square footage designated specifically to family and fun and friends and socializing and not incorporate your own wet bar. You have to have an extended area up here. Now the truth is you've got room for, um, for stools up here. You can be seated up here, snacks, eating, drinking, whatever you want. You have a sink here. You've also got room for a wine fridge or even just a regular fridge if you want. 
Microwave, that's a fantastic space. It's almost like it's an updoor kitchen. Upstairs, updoor, upstairs, upstairs kitchen. Okay, so here we are in the game room. I don't know if you can still hear me, but this is how large this room is. This is how much room you have to incorporate fun, friends, and family. You've got TVs you can put in here, sectionals, pool tables, um, foosball tables. You could put a dance floor in here. I don't know what you're gonna use this room for, but it's the possibilities are limitless. Okay, so over here we have yet another bedroom. So another bedroom with its own full bath. Again, we are on bedroom number four of eight, so we still have four more to go. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Okay, so here we go. So here's another nice size bathroom. This one has the shower with the stall as well. One vanity in there, one bedroom, beautiful. Absolutely great floor plan. This room really, I want to point out as well the ceiling. Do you see how the ceiling peaks up? That just continues to add to the expansiveness of this home in general, but of this game room, family fun area. This is really beautiful. Okay, so there's a room back over here. We're gonna go down this little hallway. Now this is one of the bedrooms that does not have a bathroom. So you can use this, actually you can still use it for a bedroom if you need eight bedrooms and use it as a bedroom. If you don't need eight, you can really utilize this bedroom for whatever you want. It has it, you could use it for a little kids and you got like baby toys, you got all the Fisher Price stuff, you could put it in there. Craft room, put it in there. You want a little media room that's separate, you can put it in there. Okay, back over here. Boy, this is a big house. We have three more bedrooms, and this is the bathroom with the double vanity, the shower, and the tub that is going to be for the two bedrooms that don't have their own built-in bathroom. Over here, we have a laundry room. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, didn't I see a laundry room at the beginning of this video? Yes, you did, you did. There's a laundry room downstairs, and there's a laundry room upstairs. My suggestion is since the master is downstairs, you make everyone who has the upstairs bedrooms do their own laundry. I'm just saying, I think that's a grand plan. Okay. So here we are in another bedroom. This is the second bedroom that does not have its own bathroom. These two bedrooms that we just saw are gonna share that really large, beautiful bathroom that we just saw a second ago. Now we're gonna continue on down this hallway and this is my favorite because you have two more bedrooms with a Jack and Jill. I'm a big fan of Jack and Jill bathrooms, a big, big, big fan. I think they're so smart. If you have kids, you know their bathrooms get messy and this is really nice that you can kind of keep their bathrooms um, separate in and unto themselves, but at the same time, they have their own private area. They can share the toilet and the tub, um, but then they have their own uh, vanity, their own cabinets, their own closet, their own sink. That's really just a smart, smart thing. So there's the first bathroom, or first part of the bathroom for, the, um, for that bedroom, and then here you have the Jack and Jill part where they share the tub and the shower. Really nice. Second bedroom has their own vanity sink, cabinets, and mirror. And then you come into this bedroom, and this bedroom's closet is over here. So again, this is a really great floor plan. It's really beautiful. So there were eight bedrooms. Were you doing the math with me? Let's recap this home. First of all, it is the Granada floor plan, and it is built by Meritage Homes. Meritage Homes is one of the most energy efficient home builders that there is. So that's a huge bonus for you. If you're trying to air condition a home this size, you're really going to appreciate the, the, um, the energy efficiency of Meritage Homes. In addition to that, this is in Parkside, which is a part of Dr. Phillips area here in the Orlando area. You are so close to Universal, to SeaWorld, to Disney World, to um, Disney Springs, or to um, Downtown Disney. I guess if, you, if you're old school, you call it Downtown Disney. If you're new, you it's Disney Springs. Um, you're also really close to Restaurant Row and all of the shopping and golf courses around here. This is another great location. If this home interests you, please give me a call, 407-848-8042. Again, this is the Granada Inventory Home, 5,500 square feet, eight bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, and this magnificent upstairs family hub gaming flex space area. This home is currently priced at 817,000. That's okay, right? That's okay, we can do it. This is a gorgeous home, well worth it. If you want this home, give me a call. If you would like some information about some other tours, don't forget about that wish list that I mentioned at the first part of this video. And don't forget to, um, to call me, 407-848-8042. Happy house hunting, everybody. I hope you had a great day touring this home with me. I'm really tired. This is a lot of square footage in this house. Have a great day, everybody. Happy house hunting.